Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. You can do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman for uh, some fantastic beard products that'll make your beard look and smell great. You can also go to TCG Player using the affiliate link below and shop there to help support the show. And last but absolutely not least, go to GreyVikingGames.com with the link below to get those sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers? Justin, aka Six, back with some more Magic the Gathering online. Here with some good old-fashioned Tribal Tuesdays, and we're playing Slivers. Because we can do that, and we're playing Legacy, baby! Ooh, we're playing the old school's formats. Uh, yeah, I mean, this deck is very simple. I wanted, I wanted something to play in Legacy. That was simple. I did not want to play Elves. Too complicated. I did not want to play Goblins. Too complicated. I did not want to play Humans. Too complicated. Slivers. Still complicated. I feel like it's a little bit easier than the other things. Anyway, let's just hop into it. Uh, someone told... Gotta make sure I'm on this. Someone told me that I, I can pull things up with uh, by holding Q. Here we have Cavern of Souls. We choose Slivers. Our Slivers can't be countered. Very helpful against the uh, decks that like all have blue in them in the top. A single Caracas. This is helpful uh, against essentially Randomator style decks. Uh, single Planes, just because, you know, we will sometimes need to be actually getting a basic out of our library. And uh, we have a decent number, number of things that need white. We got Secluded Courtyard. This is like Cavern of Souls, except it's not as good because, you know, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make it not counterable. A Sliver Hive, uh, kind of also like Cavern of Souls, except it, once again, doesn't make it uncounterable. But it does allow us to potentially uh, get Slivers with it. That said, if we are ha like being forced to get Slivers with this, then it's like not great. We're not in a great situation. Uh, Uncombed Territory, it is the worst version of this, but it works. <laughs> uh, then, of course, we have some Wasteland. This is just to blow up our opponent's uh, greedy lands. Screw you guys. We're going to blow up your duels and whatnot. We got Plated Sliver. We're playing a one mana, one, one. Uh, all my slivers get an extra toughness. Very nice at uh, dealing with, like, freaking shocks and... Or, not shocks, sorry, lightning bolts. Uh, Gale Rider Sliver gives us a flying. It's great. Evasive. Technically speaking, it does help us block, like, Delvers once they've flipped. Uh, we got Striking Sliver to get First Strike once again to fight those stupid Delvers. Uh, we got Aether Vials. Who needs to cast slivers when you can just put a bunch of slivers into play. It's fantastic. Like, this, with this card, you can just ramp out your uh, your slivers real fast. We got Sinu Sliver. Uh, that's a lord. We got Muscle Sliver. Fun fact, that's a lord. Uh, we got Predatory Sliver. I cannot say this enough. That's a lord. Uh, then we have Crystalline Sliver. Like, the way we win this game is just like, oh yeah, you can't remove any of my slivers. Uh, have fun dying. We got Hibernation Sliver. Like, just in case some bad stuff's gonna happen, like our opponent's gonna try and wrath the board or whatever, I can just be like, mm, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Pay two life, return it, uh, return it to our hand. We just get to redeploy them. Anyway, it's great. Uh, cloud, cloud Shredder Sliver uh, gives us haste, which is good, but also flying, just in case, you know, we don't have our Gale Riders. Unlicensed Hurst is main deck Graveyard Hate. That theoretically can be big enough to attack when our Slivers somehow aren't big enough. So, yeah. And then we have Siphon Sliver to, you know, regain some of that potential lost life with Hibernation. Sideboard, we have Maze of Ith. This essentially is for, like, any deck that's trying to, like, uh, attack us with one, like, sorted up creature. If it's, like, Stoneblade or Death and Taxes, um, or Reanimator, or uh, Sneak and Show style things, depending on if it's an Emrakul version. Um, can also help against Delver and stupid Merktime Regent. Uh, then we got Chalice of the Void. <laughs> it's good against, like, everything, but mainly, like, Delver. Uh, then we got Null Rods. Artifact decks. Harmonic Sliver. Artifact decks. Additional unlicensed hearse, some graveyard decks. Then we got the leyline graveyard decks, uh, and then we got mind break trap combo decks. Boom! Wow, so easy. Let's go to constructed. Let's go to legacy. Uh, I'm going to do best of one because I'm a coward. Uh -oh. Comments. First, like uh, see. I'd like you to guess what music is on. I was because because I, I always play Hollow Knight. And by the way, Silk Song technically finally got news. It'll be coming within the year. Might be the twelfth month, which will be you know sag, but it's something. Um, but I always play Hollow Knight music, so I was like, I gotta I gotta find something else. And I was like, well, I do Pokemon sometimes, and that's usually pretty safe. I was like, well, I kind of want to play Legend of Zelda music, and I was like, well, Nintendo like has done really messed up things for Zelda music and Mario music, so I'm like, I don't know if I want to deal with that. So I was like, okay, 
What are some other cool things? I was like, well, I'm playing like weird kind of creepy creatures, right? Slivers, slivers are unsettling. So, you know, maybe Bio Bioshock. And I listened to a little bit of OST and I was like, eh, this doesn't feel right. Um, and so then I was like, well, I, oh wait. I was sideboard. What am I doing? <laughs> um, and I was like, okay, what can I do that has a little bit of that nostalgia going for it? Like, I remember playing Banjo as a kid. I don't remember if I played the first one. I know I played Banjo Tooie. I want to say I played both. Because the the main thing I remember is the Gruntilda's Park. And I'm fairly sure Gruntilda's like theme park thing was until does park i don't know i don't remember what it was called it's not freezy peak i'll stop freaking banjo kazooie Hor horrorlands maybe or level. I don't know. Mad Mon No, it's not freaking Mad Monster Mansion, dude. So many of you are just like yelling at me right now. GLHF. Going against the Dingus Egg. Hello, Dingus Egg. Uh, we got Caracas Cavern Plains. Yep, seems good. Keep. Here at Mesa. I assume they're just gonna... Okay, they crack it. Let's see what uh, what land they get. But it's the, the gross, like, big floating thing in that... in the, like, big circus tent. That's, that's one of the main things I remember from uh, Banjo. And there was one point I turned Kazooie into a dragon. Um... I remember popping something like gross pimples or something. I think that was the that was the anglerfish level. Oh god damn it! Blood crypt. Uh oh. This is probably okay. Thoughtsies, that's fine. I, you know what? I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see what they take though. Okay, they took my crystalline silver. Makes sense. Awesome. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay. I typed one like a dingus. I have a modern sliver deck. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. We're gonna counter souls. Gonna name sliver. Thank you. Gonna play. Yeah, we'll play the play the sliver, I guess. Okay, that's weird. Um. Yeah, I am a small content creator, and the. Anniversary. How could you? Maybe anniversary. Pass. Let me take a look at Odo formats. I am back with the UI, though. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, 85 in here right now. Uh, that's fine. Uh, play the planes. Then we're gonna do that and that. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do that and that. 
That too looks like it's freaking scribbled on. Goes long games, right click and yield until end of turn to save on time. People are so friendly so far. Holy crap, I'm toasting right now. Death Shadow? That's what I thought it was. I was gonna say Death Shadow earlier, but I didn't believe in myself. Okay, we have a Sliver Hive. So that's, I mean, that's why they got rid of my, uh, Siphon Sliver, but... It's so weird that you have to do it like that. <laughs> so strange, man. Uh, okay. Three, six, nine, twelve? That should be lethal. No, they don't have haste. Uh, that's fine. I'll make this very large because I'm still at I'm still at twenty. I'm not too worried about it. It's possible I should be worried about it. But they have been stuck on two mana. They have to deal a whole twenty. Awesome. Okay, against this deck, we we love Chalice. We absolutely love Chalice here. Um, Maze of Ith might be fine as well. We don't care about Null Rod. I don't think we care about any of these. Um, let's see. I think we can yeet our unlicensed first. Hurst? Hurst. Um, we probably don't need Wasteland as much in this matchup. Okay, I have to get rid of two more. I'm bringing in... Three chalices. Um, let's see. We definitely want these. Uh, pretty sure we do want these. Or maybe we don't actually want all that much self damage. I'm going second. The Aether Vials are a little less good going second. Did I, I took out too many cards somehow. Whoops. Um, I'll put you back. Okay. Submit deck. I think this is correct. Yeah, Chalice on one does a lot, but I'm fairly certain that that deck does play. Um, I mean, this is this is actually fantastic. Because we can Chalice on one and then... Uh, or sorry, we can Aether Vial and then turn two Chalice on one, unless, of course, we get... Uh, um, Thoughtseized here, which we probably will get Thoughtseized here. Yep. That's fine. We still get, I mean, we still get to Aether Vial on one. Um, now I could, I could Wasteland them. I don't think I'm going to Wasteland them on, on one. God damn it. <laughs> I keep for, forgetting to press one. Luckily, luckily we're roughly same time. Yeah, figured that. I'm hoping the mu my music is not too loud. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cavern name Sliver. Play out Aether Vial. Probably start by flashing that in. 
Okay, I was like, did you actually keep a one-lander? Now the question really is, do I want to wasteland them this turn? As like, especially since it does take them off black mana for right now. I think I probably will. Chain Lightning just to deal three to yourself. Okay. To play Shadow, okay. Yeah, okay. Gotta put that on the stack. Okay. Yes. Uh, play Wasteland. Use it. Blow that up. They know about my Striking Sliver. I guess I can just play Gale Rider Sliver, actually. Stop. Yeah. These are all the cards that my opponent knows. I don't know how... I've seen people, like... Removes... Oh, okay. Curses. They have a 3-3. Three, three. I can't currently block that. That's fine, though, actually. So they've seen... All of this stuff. So this is the stuff they know about in my hand. When did I draw a Sinew Sliver? Player blockers. End of turn, I need to activate my vial. Okay. Scourge as well. It's, I mean, it's cool. I honestly didn't realize, um... I didn't realize that these cards were, like, actually played in Legacy. Put this on the stack. I will use it. Do another center sliver. So I'm about to play both of these, so now they know about all of these cards. Sliver, definitely. Green. Carlos. Now, I'm fairly certain that the correct answer here is just to pass. <sighs> I think the correct answer is, like, actually just to pass. And I could be super wrong. But I think I think I need to just, like, combo kill them, essentially, right? Plague Engineer. So none of my slivers are going to die. It's only minus one, minus one. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. They're all one ones now. They still do have first strike, though. So I can block either of their creatures. It's just not as great. Because if they hadn't played Plague Engineer, then I could have um, killed multiple of their creatures. I'm going to go ahead and put my Sinu Sliver in. Or one of them, at least. Now I'm not going to up Aether Vial. Nope. Oh, hell yeah, baby. So right now we can attack for 12. Cool. GG. Thanks for the game.
Oh, they showed me their hand. Interesting. We did it! We won a game with slivers! I will... Jesus, it's so hot. You know what? You guys aren't getting light for the rest of this, uh... This episode. It's... It's so hot, dude. Th these lights make it even worse, but... Holy crap. Oh, I'm joining someone? Uh-oh. Okay, they have no comments. That's fine. This hand... I... If they're on Thoughtseize, like, this hand is awful. If they're not on Thoughtseize, this hand's actually, like, kind of based. Because you just deploy all of the things from Aether Vial. Okay, they're mystery mistying. Hell yeah. Um, now, they could daze my Aether Vial. But I don't think I would actually care. Sliver. I've already let the, I've let the cat out of the bag, as it were. Or I guess I, I, I let the sliver out of the storage. Will you go over here? Thank you. Trump. Interesting. Put that on the stack. Say yes to it. I could just play the Crystalline Sliver now. To give them Shroud. And they can't be countered. Yeah. I think that's... I think that's less greedy. God, fucking... Cancel. <laughs> I clicked the wrong collar. Oh, right. This game is weird. Okay. So we still don't know what this is. This blue green, let's see. Uh could be weird elves. Could be s storm of some sort maybe? Could be lands. Could very well be lands. Snow card forest. Oh, it's it's just snow. Death Dust is only going to at least three other snow permanents. Oh, they only have two snow permanents right now. Snow, snow, snow. I'm not seeing snow. I forgot to say GLHF. I don't want to say it anymore. Put that on the stack. Say okay. Say yes. Uh. Um. So they could flash in another quaddle. Right. Yeah, they could flash in another quaddle and fetch a thing. So then each of them would have death touch. But I don't have my first strike guy. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think you play the other eighth of battle hero. I think you um Man. I'm gonna I'm going to do a very stupid YOLO thing and hope it works out. White. Red. I have zero chill. Do they have the other Coatl? I'm going to force them to have it. Look, I already won my, my match for this video. I do not care if I lose. Although I do care about the fact that my freaking camera looks... I shouldn't be all the way over there. I should be here. I'm the center. 
with my scrap. Oh shit! Sorry. Look, I'm gonna be. I, M arena videos less cursing. MTGO videos a bunch of cursing. Why does this one look weird? No blocks. I had them at ten. Brainstorm, sure. They all have shroud. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see uh, snow yet. Tundra? That ripoff when Tundra is not a, a snow land. Underground sea. Wait a minute, what? Oh, this is a Lurin. Okay, I can bring up a Lurin. I saw it. Lurin. When it enters the battlefield, return a blue or black creature you control to its owner's hand. Pay one life. Return this to the hand. Oh. This is the this is the combo. Right. So they so what they okay. So yeah, they returned that, then they can play it. Any player may cast creature spells with, uh, without paying their mana cost and as though they had flash. Uh, always yield to this. I, I believe, yeah, this is, that's the combo where they, they like draw their entire deck. That That's fine. Right, but they can only do it a certain number of times. They do get to draw a lot of cards, but... It still does take them life to do so. Um, I think they need to find Uro. They do have a few ways of gaining life in the deck. Well, I'm not seeing how they kill me, though. Wish I could always yield to that as well. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how they kill me. Or at least how the average deck does it. No, it's not that. They only have four life left. Okay, there's Uro, so they have all the life now. Just trying to figure out, um... Just trying to figure out how they win. Because Uro puts them in... Tapped. But yeah, they play that to bounce Uro back, yeah. I know that. Force of will, Force of Negation, Swords, Prismatic Ending... Oh, I guess it's infinite life? Potentially? But no, they would still deck themselves before... Before that, I don't... Always yield. Always yield. Always yield. I'm just trying to figure out how they win. And 37 cards left.
Oh, it's Ukima. Okay. They win with Ukima. Uh, I'm going to... You'll do this turn. Either they... Well, you'll do the next end step. There we go. Either they get... They, I'm, I'm gonna force them to show me Yukima, but also, like, I, I'm draining their clock. And you might be saying, like, that's BM, but at the same time, like, I, I've never seen this combo against myself. I've seen, I've seen this combo, like, on YouTube videos a couple of times? Yeah, so, um, Yukima's Stalking Shadow is one of the, the commander cards from C20. Um... When it leaves the battlefield, it deals X damage to target player, and you gain X life or X is its power. So essentially, they, they once they draw up to their Ukima, then they just start bouncing that to kill you. And as soon as they show me the Ukima, I'll go ahead and concede. Is that true? Yeah, it's, well, the thing is, right? Yeah, I think I will. Because it, it's sportsmen like to concede, right? Um, I just have to see the actual kill right um but like in a in a tournament situation my opponent could literally say i'm going to continue doing the ukima blink like at, at this point my life is not going to change oh i guess i guess my life will change but like you can actually just calculate all of that and, and say that and like this will be the state um because there are technically some infinites that you can't actually do um but my opponent would legit be able to say, just like, I'm going to be bouncing this, playing this. I have a sufficient amount of life to do this to drain you, because they only lose... Uh... Yeah, actually, they, they don't lose life, because Ukima does gain them life. So yeah, all they would have to say is like, I'm going to keep doing this until your life total hits zero. Um, if you want, I can calculate it, but... Like... Because, like... <sighs> I don't... It's just... It, it, I... I... I don't think it's technically, a, like, in the rules, in the tournament rules. Obviously, it's not in the game rules, but I don't think it's in the tournament rules that you that you have to concede. But I think it's, it's like, messed up if you, like, literally force them to just, like, keep doing this and then call a judge over and be like, uh, yeah, they're slow playing. And so, like, I mean, did they did they show you the loop? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, well, well aren't you just, like, dead? And it's like, well, I mean, technically not. I still have time on the clock. Because, like, I won... Did I win game one? Did we... Is this our first game? I, look, I don't remember. My brain is very bad. Um... But, yeah, like... If, if, if we were in a real-life tournament, they would just be like, so this is how I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do this an arbitrary number of times until your life totally is zero. And I'll be like, all right, cool. Game, game two or three? I have no idea. But until then, I'm going to wait. They only have one. So how's, how's everyone doing? I'm drinking pineapple juice mixed with apple juice. It's double apple. It's pine double apple. I guess it could also be a pine dot 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 apple. Recruiter gets gets it. Parasitic Strix. Oh. They're doing Strix instead. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. And we will concede yeah like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be freaking rude there um guess there are more spells you may exile any number of spells I'll bring that in I'll bring chalice in I can theoretically put that in on two um harmonic sliver blows up Aluren. um I don't think leyline of the void is worth anything so here I think we just get rid of Siphon Sliver. We just straight up don't need it. 
Um, I do still like Aether Vials. I don't think we need Hearse. Um, I think we actually do need Hibernation Sliver so that our Harmonic Sliver like doesn't get schmorked. But I legitimately don't know what to get rid of. I don't know, man. I'll do like that. Then I'll do like this. Although I'm going first. Still, I'm bad at this game, so I don't know how to cut things. Uh, I'll do one of these. And I'll do one of these, perhaps. And I'll submit the deck. But yeah, it really is the harmonic and the mind breaks that'll, that'll work here. Uh, I would like to go first. That I pressed one and not yes. Um, I mean, we have mind break trap, but we only have secluded. Well, we cast three things. You know, I'm keeping this. Dumb? Maybe. Stupid? Probably. Do I care? No. Let me get some six greeds in the chat. Uh, we're going to start off with... I'm sorry for plated. Could you just take the fucking mana? That there. But yeah, so... If your opponent casts three or more spells this turn, you may pay zero rather than then you just exile all this stuff. So the idea is, like, you, like, they cast the things, and once the actual, like, engine card, like, the Strix, essentially, once that's on the stack, just get rid of it. And hope they don't have a second one. Um, that's fine. Oh my god, I'm literally never punished. Now the question is, do I want to play Predatory first? Or double Gale Rider? Or Crystalline? Let's see, what do they have in the sideboard? Potentially Pernicious Deed, Plague Engineer potentially. Um, yeah, I'm essentially just looking at, like, and for what it's worth, I'm looking at like a general thing, but generally speaking, um, I think I'm fine to just play the Crystalline. Yeah, I think I want to play Crystalline first. Because then that makes it less likely that they can use a Prismatic Ending or Swords. Um, do any of them play Force of Will? Okay, some of them do play Force of Will. Nope. Attack with you. I get that sweet one damage throw. Alright. Then next turn I'll probably just play Predatory and, and Schmork in. Wait, you're natively- oh, wait. <laughs> this one looks so fucking wrong, so I'm like, oh, this is natively a 2-3? Since when? Brainstorm? Sure. They have a fetch, so they're not gonna brainstorm lock themselves. Interesting. They just went for... Okay. <laughs> They're really digging it deep. I mean, actually, just because of Plated Sliver. I, I'm willing to bet that Plated Sliver wasn't actually played as frequently in, uh, in versions. I mean, I have seen it played, but I feel like maybe it, like, shot up as soon as Plague Engineer got printed. Because that card is, uh, you know, dumb. And by dumb, I mean I love it. Interesting. I'm going to do this so that it can't get dazed. Then I will do this. I, mean, I can do it post-combat, but honestly, I just do not care. I'm here to hit with weird creatures. <laughs> Alright, let's hit for 5, put them down to 13. And the lower we put them before their initial allure and setup the less life they have to work with to find their Uros and, and whatnot. And for what it's worth, they could just play an Uro here. Oops. They don't play an Uro here. They do nothing. And I am a little scared about it. This is... White. 
I don't remember. What did they have white for? They had white for recruiter. Um, I mean, I'm totally just gonna play this wasteland in. Keep them off of white. Put my card back, that seems strange. Um, well, I can only actually attack with, uh, with my Crystalline Silver, and it does nothing, so, uh... Just gonna play this in pass, I think. I just need one of my many other lords. Let's see. So if I attack with all, they definitely block predatory. They take two, four, seven. They go to four. I'm sorry. I don't know what I just said. They go to six. Um, but then all of these guys get smaller. No, I think I have to wait until next turn if I want to attack. It is frightening. Is there a way for me to look at my sideboard? Few sideboard. How many of my buff slivers did I put in here? Just one. Okay. It's, it's very possible they have another Endurance in hand. This cost how much? need one more lord. One more lord. One more lord. Let's see. This is during their turn. Did you play a learn here? Looks like it. Sure. That's one spell. It's two spells. It's three spells. Pretty sure it's not correct to counter that. Okay, I don't... I don't know if I can get out of that. Because... Yeah, damn. Because they can just get a second um, Cavern Harpy here. Yep. Damn, they played around it. A second cavern harpy. And 
figuring out those tricks. So yeah, essentially I just have to exile the Strix. I hope they only have one Strix. And since this is their turn, the Force of Negation doesn't work. They can Force of Will, but I don't know if this exact build is running it. I'm just looking at a general list here on my left. We're thinking. Does it work? Okay. Oh, they might just show me a second Strix. To be like, hey, I still have it. No, they reveal the recruiter. Okay, then they cast their recruiter. I mean, if they show me a second Strix, they're like, we coach. Ice Fang? Okay. I guess maybe they're just going wide? But I guess that would work. Well, no, well. Yeah, that would work, I think. So I do... I'm, I'm assuming what they're looking for is an Uro? To just gain functionally infinite life. Right, because I guess I guess their plan is to just kill me with their creatures. Though all of their creatures are very small. I guess I might also have Ukima, but I legitimately... Like, I I don't know, right? I don't know what they have in their deck as a cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. But, I mean, yeah, as you can see, like, Chalice on 2 would be devastating. I'm assuming they would have something. I guess if they have per Pernicious Deed in the sideboard, but they would have to have that. Okay, there's Uro. So they do have infinite li life now. But see, this is a different situation, right? Like. Because, like, infinite life does not kill me. I think I'm not gonna, uh... Yield until end, I suppose. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at this, like, average thing. I'm just trying to figure out, because I don't... Because infinite life doesn't do anything. Right? They'd still need to kill me. And depending on the creatures that I draw, it, it would be very hard for them to kill me in the amount of time they have left. But again, I, I don't actually, like, know. Oh, right. They also, like, can't deck themselves is another issue. Like, can they kill me before they deck themselves? 
Card Spiller ability. Um, if they're running Baron, Talarian Archmage, then then they could like bounce all of my creatures, which would make it easier for them to kill me. Oh wait, never mind. I <laughs> never mind. Alorin is out. I could just keep recasting my creatures. Um. Grist. Grist. I don't think would work because they have to find a way to put all of their cards into their. Raven. Also, is that a, is that a freaking May? Then you may put a land in. I feel like they shouldn't be putting a land. Well, no, because uh, yeah, I, I'm just trying to figure out what their what their line is. I guess they have Endurance, but that's, like, another thing. No, because they still, they still have to get the cards out of their hand. So, yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out how they kill me here. Deluge me. I guess now I can't kill them. They still only have a little over six minutes, though. Yeah, I didn't expect the Deluge. Deluge is a very low percentage in here, it looks like. And yeah, this is the usual colors. It's just redless. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, why did you put my stuff? Like, I'm still very confused. Oh, we're chilling. While we're here, if you've made it this far, then uh, I assume that you've enjoyed so far. So, you know, go ahead and uh, give me a like, comment, subscribe. It'd be very helpful. Um, I, I just straight up do not know. What, uh, hey, look, it's Plague Engineer. Okay. Got Ice Fang Quaddle. Okay, yep. Let's see, one, two, three. Is that eight? One, two, three. Uh, six, nine... Hey, look, it's a chalice. Um... I mean, I can chalice on two, but I don't think it matters. Uh... What is this? Freaking three, six, nine... Twelve... Yeah, and I die in, I die in two turns. Wait, what? That's such a weird way to do that. GGs. Yeah, they just kill me in, in two turns. Man, I mean, they freaking... Man, that, that turn with the Mind Break, break Trap, I, th I feel like they played pretty... Damn well. 
No. That was slivers. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, ooh, you know what we're doing tomorrow? You know what we're doing tomorrow? We're playing Nicobolas. In modern. Because we get to play Cruel Ultimatum. We're essentially, we're going to be playing Cruel Control. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. But we're going to play Cruel Control. And I'm hoping it's fun. Yeah. I'll, I'll, it, it'll be a little hard. But, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links in the description down below. Of course, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I will be one. I'm literally dying. It is so hot.